And consumer finance has a crucial role to play, especially during the times of economic challenges or high inflation. Consumer finance increases as people borrow now during inflation to bridge the gap for finance. But what is the overall scenario all about now and what are the all future outlook? To talk all that and much more today, we are joined by Mel Gerard. He is non-executive director of Home Credit. And we, good morning to you, Mel. First of all, what is the recovery in consumer finance after uh, years of COVID-19 linked impact? So uh, volumes, new business volumes have, have recovered strongly post COVID, but there's no doubt that uh, you know, COVID was a very painful time for our clients. Um, you know, many of uh, the people in the countries that we work in suffered greatly uh, during the COVID period. They uh, didn't have regular income uh, and they lost that during that period. So uh, people have suffered greatly and many of them were unable to repay their loans. So clearly our non-performing loans grew very significantly uh, over the COVID period. But we're moving away from that now and we see uh, strong confidence re uh, returning to nearly all of our markets. And Mel, it's an era of high consumer loans or interest rates. What is that overall and what is the, how is it impacting consumer finance? Well, high interest rates obviously is, uh, has a very direct impact on our customers because it makes the cost of borrowing higher. Um, and uh, we see that uh, all over the world. For financial services companies, um, higher interest rates can be a positive because they lead to higher net interest margins. Um, but equally, they can be negative if they lead to a recession in the markets in which we're working, which leads to higher uh, non-performing loans. But I think from a consumer point of view, uh, the really critical thing at this point is uh, the question of affordability and making sure that lenders only lend to people who can afford to, to repay. There are other challenges, I think, uh, for the sector from higher interest rates. For example, a, a sort of, there's been an explosive growth in a product called Buy Now, Pay Later, which allows people to uh, pay by installments seemingly without interest, although the retailer is effectively paying the interest. Um, I think that product is quite challenged by higher interest rates because it means the subsidy that the retailer has to pay the lender increases. So um, I think the buy now, pay later space will be under some pressure because of a combination of uh, those higher interest rates and the greater regulation that we talked about earlier. Also, mainly we are talking at a time when there's a war going on between Ukraine and Russia, a lot of tensions across the world. How is it impacting consumer finance business? Well, interest rates have been uh, increasing in response to the inflationary environment. Uh, and that inflationary environment has obviously been driven, you know, because of some of the uh, supply issues that come uh, from COVID, the big recovery in demand uh, post the COVID epidemic in many countries, but it's been accentuated obviously by other factors such as uh, the war in Ukraine, which has led to uh, you know, higher oil prices and to some extent higher food prices. So um, the interest rate environment, I think, continues to be at least in, in the medium term, higher than it has been uh, for the last decade or so. And therefore the cost of borrowing for people will, will rise. Thank you, Mino, for joining us and giving us perspective on consumer finance issues. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.